What's up guys, back with another Groove Agent video today. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Percussion Agent this time. This is the interface for it. It's exclusive to the full version of Groove Agent. It comes with quite an extensive library of different percussive styles to choose from. And these will have, these are all multi, so they have different instruments playing in different grooves. So it's a lot like the Acoustic Agent. This is the full percussion section that you get. You get various hand drums, different kinds of shakers. It's, it's a good kit. You've got basically six different banks of pads filled with different variations. Each of the hand drums has five different variations, which can be independently tuned or sent to the room at different levels, or, and you can adjust the envelopes uh, independently as well. Um, it has a different kind of style player, which we'll look at in just a moment. In this other instance of Groove Agent, I've just got an acoustic agent triggering the SE4 kit, and I basically just cloned everything that was going on with it in the mixer in Cubase and zeroed everything in the mixer here. So this is how it sounds. Pretty basic. I left the hi-hats pretty open on an eighth note pattern because we're going to fill the space with percussion. So if we take a look at the percussion agent now, we're going to move over to the style player. And um, I've also created some four outputs for the percussion layers that I'm probably going to use, which I would use in drum and bass, which is uh, you know congas and bongos, a shaker and a tambourine. They're the ones I tend to use the most from this. Um, anything else will just come out of this master channel for it here. Um, so let's just close this other one for a second. And the way this works is um, if we just turn on the pattern um, section here, you can go in here and choose different instruments and each one comes with like a different groove or different grooves that can be changed with this complexity slider. So let's maybe start with a shaker and we'll put on follow transport and we'll loop that through. Like, I don't really like that one particularly, so let's maybe try this one. We can maybe try a tambourine. Okay, so now we've got that in there, we can start you know, messing with this a little bit. And um, another thing to note here is that I actually recently added this to Cubase. It's a, a color palette pack that somebody's uh, created. Um, this website here, Door Lab, 171 track colors for Cubase. And it's super useful. It adds all of these to the palette here where you would choose what color you want a track to be. So you can set up all of your drums cascading in color and uh, the same with, I've done the same with the percussion, so I will have my, my lower frequency instruments in a darker shade running in through into the cymbals and hats in a lighter shade, and the same kind of thing going on here. So, you know, I find that super useful. I think it was like a $3 donation or something, so, you know, I was happy to pay that.
And they're all going through this room mic here as well, which is extremely low. And this reverb. Let's maybe mess with the envelopes on the snare, because uh, I think the envelope shape is pushing the release a bit too much on here. Oh, it, it, I would have exported it to the mixer. Let's have a look. So yeah, the uh, percussion agent is one of my favorite parts of Groove Agent because uh, my drum programming is not bad, but percussion bong bongos and congas to to program those realistically is incredibly difficult. So it's it's one of those parts of Groove Agent that I actually use the most. You can use it with acoustic drums like this, or it works just as well with electronic drum kits as well, uh, with like a finished drum and bass kick and snare. So. I mean, th this these drums sound pretty thin. You'd like to, for a drum and bass break, you would want this layered with some more powerful uh, single shots, probably. But um, just as a demonstration, really, to show you what this thing's capable of. Um, and then, you know, we could start going in and offsetting grooves as well and see what that does. So, you know, it can be a really good tool for inspiration, and then we can start adding swing, which makes it sound much more realistic as well. If you wanted to export this to MIDI, you can just press this button here and drag this over to the channel and then if we were to you know i would probably just do four bars and just copy that over okay and then um you can create a drum map from the instrument just like with any other kit here. And then you're free to go in and edit this however you want. And it shows and it can be a good tool for learning how to where the drum placement really is for these congas because you know a lot of them are off the grid and to get that realistic feel, you know, to to program this in manually. It's a lot of trial and error, so this thing can save you a lot of time. And you can add different grooves, build them up here, adding layer by layer of percussion, and just use like one pad of patterns to trigger the percussion for an entire drum and bass track. And that's I try to keep all of my drums and percussion in one instance of Groove Agent, and it can be kind of challenging. A lot of the time I'll have my main drums here and I'll have break beats here, usually two different breaks, one that is a main layer and one that I'll use as an edit, probably like an Amen or something with a bit of power for an edit. And then um, usually I'll have a, a percussion agent on this one. And this one I tend to either, if I fancy using a ride, I might use an acoustic agent, or if I fancy using some doing something a bit more percussive, I might load up things from like some big kind of percussive hits to use in this last kit. But you can definitely use one instance of Groove Agent to power the entire drum track for, for your song uh, with ease. Just the fact that you can layer four kits in the full version um, makes it pretty easy. The only reason I have two going on now is uh, just because it was easier to set up for this video. But we can go through and look at some of the presets. It will it will delete the mapping that I've done here and everything will be coming through this one channel. But I can give you an idea of 
some of the complex percussive styles that do come with this thing. So if we just turn on that as well, and I'll delete the MIDI and put follow transport back on. So, you know, just using the preset styles here can really be, you know, instant funk as well, really. And I tend to just use the congas and shakers, tambourine and bongos in drum and bass. The timbales can be kind of cool as well. Um, but, you know, it has all kinds of stuff, triangles and, you know, go-go's and lots of things that I probably necessarily wouldn't use so much. But, um, yeah, it's one of my favorite aspects of Groove Agent and it can be useful when you, you know, when you're working with any kind of drum kit, really. Let's check out a couple more presets before we wrap this up. Little much. Quite a classic uh, conga groove there. And, you know, you can go in and turn different instruments off or add different ones to the existing grooves. Um, so you've got a lot of variety here. And another thing that I, I did was I created um, a template here. Which is essentially just um, an empty kit, but I've labeled everything so it's mapped to the the percussion agent so you could export midi i mean you can't actually load up a percussion style for this kit i don't think i mean we can but it'll just load up the midi it, you can't switch it to the percuss percussion agent style player unfortunately that would be kind of cool but um you know that aside i still i, I love working with this thing Let's see what West Coast Adventures is. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, that's the percussion agent in a nutshell. When we start building drum and bass drums from the ground up, we'll definitely be using this thing. Um, I use it pretty much in every track, even if it's just for like a shaker layer or something like that. So that's the percussion agent. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's definitely one of the best features of the full version of Groove Agent over the SE version, I think. This, this thing can be useful really for any genre of music. And it can teach you a lot about programming percussion. All right, guys, that's it for another video.
I'll see you next time when we start building some drum and bass drums from the ground up. Peace.